10 things skinny legends don't do. Hello, and welcome to a video I know is going to get some heated comments for. Stay civil, because you haven't even watched the video yet. The term skinny is honestly subjective, and I've been both skinny and fat shamed. So feel free to define it however you like, but in this video, I'll refer to skinny as a description of someone who is lean with a body fat percentage lower than 30% and BMI under 25 basically not obese by the definition of modern science and by that definition yes i am a skinny girl and boy are there so many misconceptions of the lifestyle of someone skinny hey, you even eat yeah to the point that has created a false stereotype for whoever has a lean body and it's extremely frustrating because not only are these assumptions disrespectful they are also misleading to those who are trying to become lean not that you need to but if you feel like having a certain muscle to fat ratio or a lower weight might improve your cardiovascular or overall health by all means your body is yours to take care of just don't blindly chase after a certain body image because that could get dangerous and to be honest a lot of the false assumptions of the skinny physique make it extra dangerous for those chasing after a certain body ideal so first things first the focus of this video will be on health as your physique is only the byproduct of adopting a certain lifestyle and second i am just one person with this physique and all bodies are built so differently but i will be clearing some misconceptions as well as sharing some hopefully helpful patterns in my lifestyle as a quote-unquote skinny girl. So these are 10 things skinny legends don't do. Number one, starve. The number of times I've been assumed to starve myself online and offline is just insane. You need to eat a burger, maybe two. <laughs> Just because someone is a certain size does not mean that they don't eat. And it's extremely annoying to continuously receive comments about how I should eat more when I actually sometimes eat more than the average male. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much. And then I receive comments saying that I probably threw all of that up. No, the only time I throw up is at the disgust of the tone-deaf comments like these. Hear me out, you don't need to starve to have a lean physique. Food for me is a huge part of culture, building connection, and just enjoyment. And I will be going over my diet later in this video, but I really wanted to clear this off the plate. How can someone skinny shame another person when being thin is body goals? I think this world is a dream come true. What about you? When are we going to stop allowing skinny people to claim they have body dysmorphia so they can be aggressively fat phobic? Well, being called anorexic and accused of promoting eating disorder or having eating disorder all the goddamn time is not a vibe. And to assume someone be starving just because they are skinny is a type of shaming. Number two, have perfect genetics. Another assumption that I get very often is that I somehow won the genetic lottery of a super fast metabolism. <laughs> Not really. True, genetics do play a role. But if you met the Zoe in college, you know that she can't metabolize sh I'd gain body fat by just eating broccoli. Sure, I grew up being a skinny kid, but as soon as I hit 18, the metabolism gods just dumped me and said, you're on your own, kid. And so I struggled with steady, unhealthy weight gain for several years. But the good news is that metabolism can be changed. And that leads to number three. Healthy skinny girls don't have unhealthy metabolisms. Instead of starving and crashing your metabolism to the point that you gain weight by 
just drinking water? The only way to be sustainably lean and healthy is by having an efficient metabolism. I'll say this again because it is important. You cannot be skinny in a healthy and sustainable way if you don't have a healthy metabolism, period. Starvation might seem easy, but that only leads to malnourishment and a crash metabolism. Sooner or later, the weight will bounce back and it will be in the form of body fat as a lot of your lean muscles will be lost already. I will touch on how to build a healthy metabolism throughout this video, but if you haven't already, be sure to watch my metabolism video after if you don't already have that metabolism foundation. Number four, count calories. I mean, some skinny legends might do it, but I personally don't count calories for two reasons. First, calories do not equate to nutrient. Eating an ice cream cone might have the same calories as a salmon filet, but the nutritional values are vastly different. And second reason is that it just makes eating less enjoyable and a chore. When everything is so calculated, I find it more discouraging to eat intuitively. Not saying that you should go ham and eat a full box of deep dish pizza every meal consecutively. But being overly restrictive can also bite you back. Number five, never eat junk food. Surprise, I do eat ice cream, donuts, and fried chicken more often than you think. So and by junk food, I mean high cholesterol, high LDL, and high added sugar foods that will give you health issues if you eat consistently. I used to be super restrictive where I cut off sugar completely for a whole year, but I do think life is too short to miss on foods that you enjoy. The key is moderation. One day of diet does not make or break you. It's the big picture that counts. Number six, sit at home all day. Even when I am at home all day, I cannot stay sedentary. I literally stand hours at my standing desk forgetting that I've been standing or I pace around. And y'all know, I love my gym. Yes, love. It wakes me up, makes me feel stronger and productive. And yes, an active lifestyle is key to a fast metabolism. And for me personally, I love strength training more because it builds muscles. And muscles are like your metabolism engines. It wasn't until I started building lean muscles that my metabolism transformed to what it is today. And for those who want a faster metabolism, sorry, there's no easier way out or a magical metabolism pill. You gotta move. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Number seven, dehydrate. Another thing I don't do as a responsible adult is dehydrating myself. Duh. It's kind of a no-brainer that your body is a massive system of chemical reactions, aka a metabolism machine. How are these chemical reactions going to happen if they are missing the essential element of water? Also, you already know this, but water just helps you flush out the toxins in you because just like the toxic people around you, the nasty toxins need to be out. <laughs> Number eight, run low on fiber. If you take a good look at what I eat, a huge chunk is fiber. Things I never run out are my greens and my chia seeds. The dense amount of fiber in dark leafy greens and cruciferous veggies slow down absorption, prevent insulin spikes, and take more calories to digest. And your digestive system will thank you. I know nobody asks this, but your poop will be so regular that you won't even remember what bloating looks like. Number nine, eat low protein. I don't count calories, but I make sure that I eat at least 100 grams of protein every single day. This is because I work out a lot and the muscle regeneration process is in need of proteins. Recommended dietary allowance for protein is at least 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight or 0.36 grams of protein per pound. Remember, lean muscles are key to a fast and strong metabolism. And muscles are built from the amino acids in protein. Number 10, obsess over my weight. Lastly, I do not obsess over my weight. There's no need to, regardless of your size. 
Weight is not indicative of a lot of useful information such as how much body fat you have and it fluctuates on hydration level, bone mass, and so on. So no need to obsess over it. If you do want a leaner physique to improve your health, I would recommend tracking your body fat percentage and muscle percentage. So I hope this video cleared up some dangerous misconceptions you had about having a quote unquote skinny physique. Again, guys, having a leaner body or a faster metabolism are only the byproduct of adopting a healthier lifestyle and mindset if you solely chase after a certain weight or body image that might damage your metabolism and health hope you find the video helpful like and share it with someone you love and i will see you next week